What up people, this is Lee from the Review Pre giving you a quick look at Xbox Media Center for Android. XBMC is developed by Team Xbox Media Center and it is in its Beta 3 version 12.0 which is also known as Frodo. First I'll give you a quick look at the weather app. The weather app is what you would expect from most weather apps. Yeah, it shows you the weather. Um, on the left hand side it shows you the current weather forecast in your current city and on the right hand side shows you upcoming forecast for your current area. I've also noticed that they don't show any sort of animations like you get with HTC Sense or even Beautiful Widgets from the Play Store. But you'll get it over it pretty quickly. It's not like you're going to be using this app just to look at weather anyways. Next I show you is the photo app. The photo app basically works how most photo apps work. It shows you photos um, that you have either stored locally on your SD card or on your network. Um, I noticed when it's browsing the photos on the networks it loads extremely slow and it's like laggy and half the time it doesn't want to load at all. So if you want to use it I suggest you wait till it's um, out of beta or till they address the problem. Um, but for viewing photos locally, it works just fine. Yeah, as you can see, I take a lot of random photos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's move along. <laughs> um, next, we'll look at videos. Um, videos is the main reason why I think anybody will uh, download the app, just because it plays pretty much any format you throw at it. Um, even MKV, which I was kind of shocked that it actually worked. My only issue with the MKVs is that it doesn't remove subtitles. So if you have a subtitles embedded into your MKV videos, it's going to play no matter what you do with the uh, subtitles. You can't shut them off. But I also noticed this with the desktop app. It does the same thing. So um, yeah, Team Xbox Media Center. If you're like listening, you might want to address that. I mean, you don't have to, but I mean, you could. <laughs> It's an issue that a lot of people might run into. Um, also, when you stream anything like um, over 720p, I found it to be laggy. Um, even playing 1080p videos that are stored on your SD card, the video and voice isn't always sync correctly. I don't really know what the issue is with that, but um, yeah, just stick below 720p. This is 720p and it works just fine. Also, the buttons are like super small. This is mainly because it is a direct port of the Windows app and the app on Windows is normally being clicked by a mouse and so it doesn't really translate too well when switching it to a touchscreen device. But I heard that there is a skin out there that um, converts this whole UI into more touch friendly, if you get what I mean. Uh, next we'll look at music. Music works just like how photos and videos work either choose to stream from uh, your network or play locally and um, it works pretty fine. I noticed that the album marks are sometimes get mixed up or don't work at all but it's not really a big deal. I don't think many people can use this for music anyways but it's there if you want to. Um, I'll play the Ken theme I made. Let me see if I can find it. See, it works pretty good. Other apps that are on Xbox Media Center are programs, which basically allows you to launch to apps that are installed on your phone or device or whatever else you're using. The other one would be settings, which basically allows you to configure the settings inside uh, the app. Um, that's pretty much it. For more info, check out the links in the description box below the video.